Today at the Vermont Institute of Natural Science, intern Lauren Potter is removing a splint on a juvenile crow's leg. The crow came in May 28th into our care and he was found caught in a fence. Um, his leg was caught and um, his parents were around squawking and dive bombing the people who were trying to get the baby crow out of the fence. Um, they were trying to protect the baby, but we really had to get him out of the fence even though his parents were around because his leg was clearly broken. And he has a fracture right above his ankle and we've had a splint on for I guess about two weeks now. Um, we had had it on for a week and removed it but the fracture site was still wobbly so we put the splint back on and we're now removing it um, about a week later to see how the fracture site's healing. His foot's still a little bit swollen, but he seems to be moving it really well. So that's a good sign. Just trying to get through all the gauze without cutting his foot or his feathers, at least to the best of my ability. And the splint we put on this crow's leg is just like a splint you would put on a human leg. It just sets the bone and allows it to grow um, back together again. In, a, in an aligned manner. And because this is a juvenile crow, um, we are hand feeding him every hour, um, just like his parents would still be feeding him in the wild. It's set, it feels very, very solid. His foot might still be a little bit swollen, but now that that wrap is off, Hopefully he can get it moving around and get the swelling down. Just testing for a pain response in his foot, which we noticed earlier that it was quite reduced in these outside two toes, which it still sort of seems to be, but the third toe and his helix are still working really well and he's using the foot, so hoping for the best. Hi, I'm Megan from the Vermont Institute of Natural Science. What you have just seen is one example of the more than 400 birds that Vince cares for each year. As a 501c3 not-for-profit organization, we depend on your support to provide the medical treatment these birds require to get them healthy and back into the wild. In addition to our on-site avian rehabilitation facility, the Vince Nature Center in Queechee, Vermont proudly displays an impressive collection of live raptors, songbirds, and other animals for you to see up close. With 47 acres of diverse natural habitat, the Vins Nature Center offers a host of educational programs and special events enjoyable for people of all ages. For the latest information on the birds in our care, a list of our current Nature Center programs, outreach opportunities, and events, or to contribute to Vins so that we can continue our important work, please visit our website at vinsweb.org or call 802-359-5000 for more information.